So I'm back at the Woodside Cutoff. There's the road to Corvallis where we went two weeks ago. And I uh, didn't show the journey before this because it's all stuff we've seen before. But today we have seven miles to the north to go to Victor. Not too far, it shouldn't be. And we have a clear bike path all the way there which makes it a lot easier. Um, a separated bike path, not just a lane. That makes it a lot easier. Um, and so far today, it is about seven miles from where I, my house is to here. So um, it kind of zoomed right by. And so that makes me think that maybe the next seven miles will also be easy. But on bicycle rides, uh, that's not all is true. So let's find out. So along here, when you get north of the city, the highway is just kind of um, lined by um, prefab buildings. And uh, it's not the most aesthetic part of Montana. I'll just leave it at that. And uh, well, normally I would say this type of uh, development isn't my cup of tea. Right here we have a winery, free tasting. I'm not gonna be tasting today. And it's interesting, now it says Montana grown grape wines. Um, that used to actually be a mead hall. Oh, well, there. So I'm not actually sure about that. Um, whether that's uh, grape wine or mead or both, or perhaps it is grape wines flavored with honey, so not true mead. I'm not a wine expert, I'm just a guy with a camera, but I will be continuing on this path. It's been another mile or two. This here, according to a sign, is Mill Creek. Kind of loud here. And uh, just like there's canyons in the mountains every four or five miles, each one of those feeds a creek. Um, so the mountains in that direction, which we can't see because of the clouds, this is coming out of a canyon. I don't remember which canyon this comes out of. And sometimes that's a little bit irregular because differences in the topography um, can change where the creeks flow. But in general, you're gonna see a creek every five miles of about this size. Okay, continuing on this way. You might also notice, I sure do, that it is uh, rainy today. And it's not actively raining, it's more drizzling right now, but it is a wetter day. Very overcast and cloudy. Um, and uh, a couple days ago, it was pretty warm, uh, up in the 70s, and then it gets cold again. That's kind of the way things work here. Uh, and uh, even though it's not the most aesthetic, you know, it's not the golden blue skies and golden sunshine, it does actually make cycling easier because I'm not sweating too much as I move onward. So as is sometimes the case, um, it did get to a point where I was like, oh, this is further than I thought it was. After a while where everything was going faster than I thought it would, it started going slower. But nevertheless, we are entering Victor, and I will uh, wipe off my lens and show more of the city because uh, that's why I came here. Victor's the main point, not my bicycle ride. So on a different day, that bench might be a nice place to relax. And I could also lock up my bicycle, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna walk my bicycle because it's uh, easier to do that. And there's a market. So Victor's large enough that it has like a market for, you know, quick purchases, um, like a smaller grocery store. And uh, that's about as big as you get. If you want to go further, you go to Stevensville, which is actually only like about 10 miles north of here. There's a gas station here, um, basic things like that. This is actually a pretty big, nice park here. Um, it's a nicer park on a warmer day. And then right ahead is like the center of town. We'll see that really quickly. So this is the center of town. Um, and some of these are actually old and historic buildings. Um, and now this is mostly like a place where people stop and go to restaurants. And like a lot of the towns here before this highway was widened to this length, this was a... Um, real town sorry that sounds mean but like it was actually a nexus where people would live centered in the town and of course going back a hundred years you know the highway wasn't there and so a lot of these places are kind of like centers from that historically but over time they basically become rest stops where people stop to get gas 
Um, and then there's residential areas. So um, this is a census designated place, but it is a real community, but a, that the community is not what it once was. So, uh, you know, I, maybe a little bit unfair. I said the community is not what it once was. That doesn't mean that it's not something else. Um, and actually it's pretty diverse. You have a Cuban restaurant here. I was, I was not expecting that. Um, I'll remember I can say coger if I go in there. Quiero coger algunas comidas. And you have a dispensary, specifically a medical dispensary. Um, medical and recreational are both um, here, so I don't know what the difference is. And a book bank, which looks to be closed, but uh, I am curious what's going on in the book bank. But it is currently closed. There's a sign about it. Hopefully they'll reverse that. Not that I really need more books. And uh, art studio. So, like with a lot of smaller places, it's a combination of a nice little tourist town. You do have these amenities. Um, wide variety of like restaurants and stuff. Mexican restaurants are common. Cuban restaurants, that, that was a surprise. Um, but like a lot of these places I say, you know, to be honest, nice place to visit or maybe stop by, go to a restaurant, but um, it's kind of small, lack of basic services, stuff like that, it would kind of get to me. But I'm also not like prepared to retire or something. Uh, maybe different stages of people's lives, it would be a better place. Now I'm in this picnic shelter in the park and I'm gonna stop and uh, eat some candy out of my panniers. So here we are at the north side of town. Do not enter. Um, I'm not gonna enter. The bike path continues um, for quite a ways, all the way to Missoula, like I said. And the next town to the north is Stevensville and another day we will be going there. Actually not that far. This is the entrance to Victor. Um, so I'm gonna return back to where I was going. Um, I actually stopped bicycling and then I got cold because it's cold enough that when I'm not moving, it's cold. So I noticed this and when I first saw these, I thought these were actually row houses. This would be a kind of strange place to build row houses. Um, and they're not quite, but they're close. It's some very dense housing and there seems to be some more behind. Um, I wanted to show some of the residential parts of this town, but there are really no single part. Um, and, you know, there's some houses built in town, there's a lot of houses outside of town, and those go between, um, you know, old farmhouses, uh, newer, you know, mansions out in the hills, and, uh, you know, little trailer homes, that type of thing, manufactured homes. So it's quite a variety. And they are building more houses right in town, which in, in a way is good. So one thing I didn't talk about, and I will just throw this out there, is that even though if you look around, there's a lot of stuff that looks like this is like an agricultural area, and there are still agriculture and forest products. This might hurt people's feelings, but in a lot of ways, this is a commuter suburb for Missoula, um, and to a lesser extent for Hamilton. And Hamilton itself is a commuter suburb and a um, retirement town. So the housing pattern is more like that than for you know people actually living in a small town and working in a small town as it is. And you can see that highway is pretty busy and it's just gonna get busier as more people wanna come here. And then those flashing lights will have to become red lights, etc. That's another story. And uh, like I said, I'm getting cold, so I'm gonna head back. So we'll also see how I feel on the way back. Um, the 59 mile post is right next to the entrance to Victor. Um, and that's nine miles from the bridge north of Hamilton. Another four or five miles to where I live about. So this ride will be about 30 miles. It might actually be the longest ride I've done since I've been here and longer than the Scalcaho rides. So we'll see how that goes. It's mostly flat. Kind of, you know, not feeling too cheerful in the rain, but it's not terrible. So just a uh, straight pedal back about 15 miles. And uh, then I'm gonna rest for a long time. 
Let's see how that goes. Nice enough ride. One thing I was worried about uh, coming back would be that because Victor is north of Hamilton towards Missoula, the valley is actually sloping downward and uh, not by much, but enough that I was worried that on the way back I'd be going uphill. And I haven't even noticed it or I've noticed the opposite seemingly. Hard to tell, but in any case, elevation has not been a big question on the bicycle back other than like a few places like this where there's like a little bump where the path goes upwards for a few hundred feet anyway continuing backward and yeah it's still raining and uh my socks are wet and i want to get home <laughs>